They joined in 2014. For me, we've created a family at Temple Sinai. We've always had lots of friends from tennis, from golf, from um, the gay community, uh, lots of places. But once we joined the temple, they kind of consumed us. I would say 95% of our friends now are temple members, many of whom are like family to us. There's a Thursday night cocktail party. Um, first time we went, there were over 45 people. It zoomed. And uh, there's so many different things that we are zooming from the temple. I mean, if you look at the calendar, it's unbelievable. If you're feeling alone or lonely, just go into one of these things and it opens up your life. There's another thing I'd like to say. The rabbi is extremely accessible. He's at the Onu Shabbat. He's walking around. Anybody can go up to him and have a conversation with him. And one more little remarkable thing about the rabbi. Once he meets you and he knows your name, he'll never forget it. I, he's outstanding. I, I marvel sometimes. How does he remember all those names? He's, he's really terrific. We're going to get him. In 2014-15, I was diagnosed with lung cancer. And I think one of the most memorable things was how the congregation of our friends and especially the rabbi kind of embraced me. And I feel as though we all work together to to bring me to remission. May I say that it was stage four lung cancer and she was given a year and a half to live. And we'd only been members of the temple six months, but everyone <clears throat> rallied around us. And obviously this is over five years later now and she, there's no cancer in her body and hasn't been, the doctors were very good too. I don't want to take anything away from them, but I think prayer helps because the entire temple and all of Facebook were praying for us. And I say us because our lives are so intertwined. Um, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Bye. Bye.